Hey, Shalom on Israel. First off, I would like to stay uh call Hala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, I would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim, that's pushing his word in sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sisters that watch and believe, Shalom on to you as well. Uh just back with another lesson through the spirit. I'll probably end up uh titling this video something to the effect that Jake is playing games while Esau eat them, they're preparing for war. Because Jake, they don't understand what time it is. In Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, it tells you there's a time for everything that's under the sun. A time for love, a time for hate, a time for peace, and a time for war. And right now, we're in the time of war. Of course, the, the men of the Lord preaching his word, we endure all manner of spiritual battles day for day. But things are about to escalate to an all physical war, man, to where you're going to have race riots and especially uh, going into this election, however way it may swing, that's just going to stir up the racial tensions even more, man, because Esau, he's in that guilty spirit. They feel, well, I ain't going to say they feel bad, but they know that there has to be a recompense or a retribution for all of the wicked deeds of their forefathers that they enjoy so-called white privilege from. So Esau, the, the one that's really proud and that's really in that spirit of making America great again and just uh, continuing uh, white supremacy, they're going to go hard for their kingdom. Meanwhile, Jake is playing games. Jake is, is all caught up in, in the folly and in, in dancing and shucking and jiving, caught up in all of these the sports, pretty much all of these distractions that are not preparing them for this war. And ultimately, it's the judgment of the Most High because uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the Most High is going to use Esau, Edom to lay vengeance and judgment even upon two-thirds of his own people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Without further ado, I'm going to just hit some scriptures. Uh, I'm going to start off here in Zephaniah 1 and 12. It says, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. And punish the men that are settled on their lease that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So we're coming into that time right now. We're in the last days of the last days. And the Most High, he's searching Jerusalem, which Jerusalem always represents a people before it's a place. Jerusalem are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. You 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So right now, through the spirit of this word going out throughout the four corners of the earth, the Most High is searching Jerusalem with candles. Our people's wicked, dark, demonic deeds are being exposed. Of course, the, the wicked of the planet Earth, the man of sin, he's being fully revealed. But also two-thirds of you wicked Israelites are being revealed as well. It says, and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Because you got a lot of our people that are settled on their leaves. Which when you go into that word leaves, is talking about watch. You got a lot of Israelites that know this truth that are settled upon their watch. They're not being circumspect. They're not measuring the time diligently. They still haven't considered that they have a, a natural born enemy in the earth. You still got Jake trying to figure out another voting strategy. When that's all vain. So anybody that's in the spirit of talking about voting, you, you're not on your watch. You're not uh, coherent as to what's going on in, in the things that are being prepared in the earth. There's a great battle being prepared in the earth as we know it. Of course, all of these different things that's happening in America and, of course, all of the, the nations uh, around about is setting the stage for World War III to where the imminent the destruction of Great Babylon America is going to come by those thermonuclear missiles. But you got a lot of Israelites that are settled upon their watch. And, of course, two-thirds of our people, they're not paying attention to what's going on. They're not taking heed to all of the different signs that the Most High is showing. Our people are not watching uh, international news to figure out what's going on as far as the devaluing of the, the currency and just all of the different uh, demonic and draconian things that Esau Edom is coming down the pipe with. In fact, it says here, they say in their heart, another word for heart is your mind. It says they say in their heart or mind, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So you have a lot of Israelites out there that don't really think that the Most High is capable of making a move. And furthermore, using Esau Edom to make those moves, man, to commence to judgment. 
But it's going to play out, though, because Esau Edo, man, you see Esau out there uh, running uh, 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 multiple miles every day. Esau uh, is buying up ammo. They're uh, at the gun range working on their uh, aim. They're prepping food and just all different types of non-perishable uh, non necessities. Meanwhile, you, you got Jake uh, on social media playing goddamn games all fucking day, man. And excuse my language, but it just really just kind of uh, sets your spirit a certain way when you see some of the things, you know. And I personally, I'm really not too much into social media, but brothers share things with me that they see, whether it be from World Star Hip Hop, Instagram, you know, so on and so forth. And Jake is just completely buck wild, man. This whole Black Matters or Black Lives Matters movement, that's just a complete farce. To really push that LGD, LGBT, whatever that call, to push that whole agenda, man. That's not really to save and, and, and honor so-called black lives. But the point being made in this scripture is Jake don't think that the Most High is about to make moves on this place. And that he's using Esau Edom as his whipping stick. Just because some Jake, you know, have a, a stimulus money or unemployment benefits coming in. Jake basically still has the ability to feed their belly. They think that it's going to be somehow a chance to heal Great Babylon. Oh, uh, you know, once November comes, we finally get our chance to get Trump out of office. You still got Jake out there thinking that the Democratic Party has their best interests in mind. Thinking that, okay, if we get Donald Trump out of office, then magically all of the so-called black people's problems are, are instantly solved overnight, right? Let me get this real quick. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. It says, uh, hold on, let me see if I should start up. I'm going to just start at the top. <laughs> this is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. So the elect that have the eye salve and that are truly woke, there's no need that we are written unto of the times and the seasons because the Lord has opened our eyes up to measure the time diligently to be circumspect to pay attention to the signs that the most high showing man and I know personally you know I had to snap out of it but I was kind of going through uh, some depression over the past couple of days just because this whole Saharan dust storm is really just causing just the sun to be real really overcast which the sunlight is vital man just to your overall mood and state of being. But, you know, I can just recognize that the Lord, we're getting closer to the Lord to come back. That's the point being made. That's just one sign uh, shown as far as how the weather, the weather pattern is changing, you know. And then, of course, other signs as well. You have uh, Iran. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's their defense secretary or prime minister. He was saying that they put out an, a, a, an arrest warrant on Donald J. Trump. So that shows that these other nations, man, they have their eyes set on America, man. America is going to be a huge target for these other nations in that destruction. But the elect, the, the hopeful elect whose eyes are, 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 are clearly open, we're not going to be ignorant of all of these things that's happening in the earth. We're not going to get sucker punched, Lord willing. Verse 2, it says, for yourselves know perfectly, <laughs> it says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So the day of the Lord is going to catch a lot of people off guard. Even before the Lord, Yahweh Shah, makes his return upon this earth, a lot of these different prophecies coming to pass, a lot of these different judgments that's coming down the pipe is going to catch people off the guard like a thief in the night. Especially Jake, especially two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because y'all are in complete la-la land. Even Esau enemy or Esau Edom, who is our enemy, they're paying attention uh, to what's going on somewhat. And they're preparing for war. They're going to use their blessing, which is the sword, to the best of their ability to eliminate a lot of you jakes, man. So we understand that there's a lot of judgment that's coming to you Israelites, man. Two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because you refuse to get right with the Heavenly Father. You refuse to repent. You refuse to acknowledge the things and the signs that the Most High is even showing. You still trust in oppression. I'm going to continue on. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then 
sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So a lot of our people think that peace and safety is coming to the earth. You got a lot of our people think that they're going to really press forward to stop police brutality. Man, these cops, they may kind of, you know, uh, go uh, crouching for a little while. But you're going to continue hearing all types of reports of cops killing so-called unarmed, innocent, uh, uh, so-called black people, man. That's not going to stop. You're not in a state of peace and safety right now, man. All manner of war is being prepared in the earth. So sudden destruction is going to take a hold of our people as travail upon a woman with child. Like when a woman is going through those birth pains, is no amount of pleading that can turn those birth pains away. So our people are not going to be able to escape this judgment. But on the other hand, the hopeful elect who are preaching this word, who are paying attention to what's going on, and walking accordingly through the spirit, it, verse four it says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. So Lord willing, we're not going to be overtaken uh, as a thief. We're in the land of gross darkness, but through the word, which is Yahweh Shah, we have the light to be able to navigate our ways through all of this darkness. But a lot of points being made is that Jake playing games while Esau preparing and things are going to get worse, man. Just because uh, a few weeks ago, you know, certain uh, operations of business and life, as you know, it it opened back up. But guess what? Here in Texas and in states like Florida, they closing things back down, man. And then we ain't even hit flu season. We ain't even got out of the summer yet, man. You know, so it's all different levels just getting ramped up in this place, man. You know. So the Most High is doing major work and the earth is beautiful. But a lot of our people, two-thirds, namely, they're not considering, man. They're thinking that things are going to go back to so-called normal. When we always been saying, it's, you're going to have to adjust to the new normal. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 16 and 21. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then... Shall evils grow upon earth? Sword, famine, and great confusion. So I will just break that verse down. So a lot of different things that our people like to enjoy to fill their belly, to feed their flesh. A lot of those things are readily accessible still right now, man. Our people still have easy access to a drive through to go get them a quick burger. You know, a quick midnight snack. you able to just still fulfill... All of the different lusts within your flesh, man. So just having that accessibility, our people think they're in good case. And it says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. So right now we're in a time where these different evils, which evil goes into bad times. Bad times are about to grow upon this earth. Sword are different types of uh, judgment commencing by the modern day sword, which is the gun, the weapon. It says famine. And great confusion. So there's going to be a lack of food. There's going to be a great famine. We're already seeing what's being done to these farmers, man. And then it says in great confusion, which Babylon is a land of great confusion, man. It's all different types of wayward, wayward and different doctrines. No solutions. Just all manner of just chaos and confusion in this place, man. Just how the elites have orchestrated this thing. The whole Hegelian dialect. Problem, reaction, solution. It says, verse 22, For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So basically, the Lord is setting the stage to where it's not going to be any way to escape all of these different judgments. Whether you uh, die by hunger, or if you escape the famine and hunger, you're going to get killed by the sword. So only the hedge of protection is going to be around the elect, the men that the Most High set up to preach this word, you know, being looked at as a spectacle and, 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 and being made in the sight of these people to look foolish. But we're going to have a great reward for brothers that just uh, continue to keep their integrity, man. That stand so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Lord willing, we're going to be protected when all of this different evil and this destruction come down the line. So with all being said, man, we're in a time of war. 
we're in a major time of war. Of course, everything starts spiritual. We're in a spiritual war more so than anything. But everything's about to manifest in the flesh, man. To where it's just going to be all out, just hell around America, man. The scriptures does say that the righteous even shall scarcely be saved, man. So we're waiting upon the great deliverance by our Savior, Yahweh Shah. So that's why we're getting in the spirit to uh, offend less and just watch our code of conduct, so to speak. Understanding that we're going to require a great amount of abundance to be covered out of all of these evils, man. So... The point being made, you know, Jake, they're in that, that playful spirit while Esau is preparing. But that's beautiful because, like I was saying in the beginning, the Most High, he's using Esau to bring down judgment upon two-thirds of you Israelites, man. And a lot of you women, you're going to fall within that two-thirds number, too, because we got to call it how it is on, on women. Because it should not be a crime to call out a woman and hold her accountable when she's doing BS as well. And a lot of these things I'm seeing on social media is women, you you women of the nation of Israel just being completely out of order. And a lot of you women are going to be judged, man. You know? And that, that, there are exceptions to rule. There are women that are being quiet or, and are being orderly and holding down their man if they have one. So I'm not talking about that. But, you know, if the, the, hey, if the shoe fits, wear it. But I don't want to go on a tangent. The point being made, you know, you need to prepare your mind for battle. Remember yourselves men, like it says in Isaiah 46 and 8, for you uh, men of the nation of Israel, man. Quit playing so damn much, man. Take things more seriously because your enemy, he's preparing to gun you down. So hopefully my rant, you know, made sense to edify the body. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.